Hi everyone, my name is Terry, and welcome to Friday Fact Day, where I get to tell you about my work in fitness, feminism, and philosophy. And today's fact is intersectionality. So intersectionality is more of the feminism and philosophy side of my channel. And this is a term that's been around for quite a few years now. You may have heard it. It gets used a lot in public discourse. It's become very, very popular in recent years. Intersectionality is a concept and a word that was created back in the late 80s by an American professor named Kimberly Crenshaw. And she was looking for a way to explain how it is that women have a lot of common experiences, but not every woman experiences those things the same way. And she was particularly looking at the experience of African-American women in uh, job placements. Intersectionality is, if you think of it, kind of like the intersection uh, at two roads. If you were driving or walking down a road and you come to an intersection, two roads meet at some point. <laughs> and there's things that are common at that point, but then there's things that are different about the roads themselves. And that's really what we're trying to get to. So, um, you know, women of all colors may experience job discrimination, but black women experience that very differently than white women. And that's really what the whole thing was that started this off. You'll sometimes see things uh, that maybe misrepresent intersectionality. And I want to be clear that intersectionality is not what people sometimes call the oppression Olympics, right? It's not about who's the most oppressed and who has the most intersections of oppression. What it is is about doing away with the one size fits all notion. And if you've ever had a one size fits all t-shirt, you know that one size fits all probably doesn't fit anybody. So the idea is to look at all the different ways, uh, at all the different aspects of who we are as individuals intersect and where that makes our experiences of these oppressions different and how we need to therefore work at them differently and understand them differently in order to fix them at some point. That's the hope anyway. So as somebody who is experiencing um, job discrimination as a woman who is also disabled is going to have a different intersection than somebody who is experiencing job discrimination as a woman who is also a racialized person and so on and so on. So the idea is to customize our understanding of how these things in the world work because the standard able-bodied hetero white woman that was writing all the, the feminist philosophy up to that point is absolutely not the only voice in feminist philosophy or in feminist activism. So consider your intersections. Consider intersectionality as a very positive thing. It makes us better at what we do. And uh, as I always say, my fit, more fitness themed videos lift heavy, fight the patriarchy, and I'll see you next week. Bye.